Bonjour, uh, c'est Adrien de la Montagne, Adrien Vandenberg for um, Guitar Extreme, and I'm gonna show you a couple of things I did on my new Moon Kings record. So stick with us. Okay, guys, um, I could do it in, I could try in French, but I'll do it in English. It's a little easier. Um, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite licks from the Moon Kings album. It's a Zeppelin influenced lick, um, because I'm a Zeppelin fan. And it goes like this. Um, the start of the song, I figured out a way to, uh, to, to hit a um, Keith Richards style chord. Keith Richards, as you probably know, um, just takes one string of his guitar and tunes it in an open G or something. And but I kind of um, tricked my way into it by hitting the basic note with a with a pinky. So if you play something like this, then I hit the as a pedal note. I think it's called a pedal note. I hit um, the the B with my pinky. So you're gonna hear this. If that isn't Keith Richard, then I wouldn't know anymore. ACDC does the same thing actually, but just with open strings. You know the trick. Anyway, uh, I started the song with that um, little uh, song, a lick like that. Lick. And the song is in F sharp, if you haven't noticed yet. So then uh, that goes twice, and then, and then I go into the, um, the actual riff, which is this one. So that's the regular tempo. I'll show it to you a little slower. Don't tell anybody because it's a secret lick. There it goes. So it's, it's got some hammer ons. I don't know why I'm switching fingers over here, but it just feels easier when I do this. Uh, play it like this. So um, that's one of the couple of licks in there actually. Uh, um, after the first part of the verse, it goes into another riff, which is this one. Um, I use a lot of the open, open E string here as you have noticed probably, and um, I'll play it a little slower, not that it's very fast, but it makes it easier for you to figure it out. There you go, um, I use the open E string with an octave, oh, sorry, <laughs> so this little thing here, and then instead of this one, uh, I Grab the G sharp. So you get this. That's two riffs out of one song. Um, let's see, there's another riff in there that's pretty cool, I think. Um, in the chorus, it goes like. Um, and then there's a little riff there that's worth mentioning. Um, it goes like this. So that's like a... Not too difficult, is it? But it sounds cool. That's the basic uh, of rock and roll, actually, you know? Something that isn't too difficult, but sounds really cool. I'll play the riff for you. I'll, I'll play it um, regular tempo first. Less than lies. So, um, I'll play it slow for you and I'll show the trick, the thing, one of the things that makes it sound pretty cool is that I keep an open A string going, which is this one as you know, otherwise you wouldn't be playing guitar or buying a magazine. So there you go. That's the first thing I do. 
I, I just do a hammer hammering thingy, but then I keep the, um, the open A string ring. That's basically what I do. And um, while the other open strings kind of keep ringing, I do this little thing. But I give it a little bit of a twist, so... And it sounds cool if you just really pull that string like that. It makes it sound a little meaner. And then it goes into... Uh, slow so I grab the, um, the D on the A string with my uh, index finger it's this finger it's a finger where you pick your note with and then uh, you can do other interesting things with it like hitting the D string on the A and then uh, then I switch so in tempo again it goes like uh, as far as the chords that come after that um, it's an open D <coughs> but I, um, I change the basic note a little bit uh, going down like this to the riff again. With this open chord it's important um, because uh, you want to hear the relationship between the low note and the actual chord. So it's important that with your right hand you hit, uh, you put a little bit of emphasis on the higher strings instead of the lower ones, otherwise it's going to sound very muddy. It's going to sound like this. It sounds a little crude, so if you hit a little bit more of the, say, the D, G and B string, it sounds nice and open. The chorus is um, F chords, C and G. Um, but I, then I'll go, I, I connect them with a the riff. And then uh, I go from the F to a C, but I hit the, um, the E on the low note, just for some variation. Sounds very intelligent. And it is easy, so... Also there you have to be careful with which strings you hit, you know, uh, otherwise it's going to sound muddy, so... Same thing as with the D chord. Make sure you hit uh, the, C, the C chords. Yeah, you can hit it like this, but this becomes difficult for people with small hands. So don't do it. Just to hit, uh, try to hit these, for instance, the... Uh, um, let's see, on the D and the G string, that's acceptable, uh, acceptable, so it doesn't sound too muddy. Yeah. And it goes to a G, so you get this. Sounds good. Look at ACDC, open G's, open D's, open A's, open E, rock and roll. So, uh, the solo for Less Than Lies, I just um, listened to it and um, there's some unexpected, maybe more unusual shit in there that I can show to you. It's, um, it starts uh, like this. Well, you know that lick, it's easy, you know. It's all blues based stuff. 
and then um, yeah, I start with a um, uh, let's see. It's basically like a uh, you pull the last thing up, so the last uh, you pull the G up to a which would be. It's in the E chord somewhere, I suppose. And then um, I do something that sounds really complicated. It's a little atonal because uh, I like um, unexpected notes, and, and um, you know, sometimes I think in rock and roll, especially, you should take the freedom to do something that sounds cool, unusual, dangerous, or something. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to fit in the same scale for me. You know, if you look at Django Reinhardt, one of the most amazing guitar players ever, in my opinion. He played a lot of almost atonal stuff, you know. Uh, I do a run there, um, it comes out of this. Then I slide up to... I, I slide uh, on the E string to the A and I hit the um, F sharp on the high E. And then I go... Then I do something really strange that just happened while I, while I was playing in the studio. And I had to figure it out afterwards because I couldn't remember what I did. But um, it goes something like this. It basically s slides that, um, and you skip one string at a time, like this. So if you do it fast, it goes like this. Now, does it sound intelligent or what? So if you incorporate stuff like that in a guitar solo, it, I think I like it, you know? It's like, so I, I go out of this. Sorry. What I'll do is I'll try to play it a little slower. And um, you can see what happens. There we go. Um. So that last uh, arpeggio type of thing is basically coming out of an E, fits in an E chord I think, it's go it goes, uh, it's, it's a part of this kind of stuff, but then um, a seventh in it, which is the D in this case. Um, I think I don't play the, G, the C here, I play this. Um, oh yeah, I go from the, what is it, an, uh, G sharp, D, E, uh, G sharp, B, D, so the seventh. People that are familiar with my style know that I like to do those muted uh, arpeggios, you know, like in, for instance, here I go again, solo. And there I go again. It's another one of those, so it's become a little bit of a trademark for me. Okay guys, that was um, a short non-lesson lesson because I hardly know what I'm doing, but I will explain it to you anyway. Um, I would like to say uh, au revoir to the readers of uh, Guitar Extreme and I hope to see you soon in France, my favorite country. Au revoir, salut.